There's a health topic that generates more myths and anxiety than almost any other in men's health, the relationship between ejaculation frequency and prostate wellness. For decades, conflicting information has circulated, some sources claiming frequent ejaculation harms the prostate, others suggesting it's beneficial, leaving many men confused about what's actually healthy for their bodies. What makes this topic particularly important? Prostate health affects virtually every man as he ages, and understanding the science can help separate fact from fear-based misinformation. Today, I'm sharing findings from comprehensive research spanning four decades, including data from major universities and international health organizations that tracked hundreds of thousands of men over extended periods. These aren't opinions or theories. They're results from peer-reviewed medical journals that challenge many long-held assumptions about male sexual health. I'm Dr. Rebecca Clark, and as a urologist specializing in men's health research, I've reviewed every major study on this topic. What the science shows might genuinely surprise you and could provide important insights for your long-term wellness. We'll explore the actual research findings, proposed biological mechanisms, what this means for daily health decisions, and how ejaculation frequency fits into comprehensive prostate care. Let's start with understanding the prostate's role in this equation. The prostate is a walnut-sized gland that plays several crucial roles in male reproductive health. Primary functions include producing prostatic fluid that nourishes sperm, helping control urination through muscle contractions, and producing substances that affect hormone balance. Why prostate health matters increasingly with age. This gland tends to enlarge naturally over time, which can affect urinary function, and it's also the site where prostate cancer, affecting about one in eight men, typically develops. Historical concerns about ejaculation frequency stemmed from theories that frequent sexual activity might overstimulate the prostate or lead to inflammation and tissue damage. These concerns were largely theoretical, rather than based on rigorous scientific research, but they influenced medical thinking for decades. The anxiety these theories created led many men to worry unnecessarily about normal sexual behaviors and their potential health consequences. Modern research methods allow us to move beyond speculation and examine what actually happens in large populations over extended time periods. This brings us to the groundbreaking research that changed our understanding. The most comprehensive study began in 1986 as part of the Health Professionals follow-up study involving nearly 30,000 male health professionals tracked for over 18 years. What made this research particularly valuable? The large sample size, extended follow-up period, and detailed lifestyle data collection provided unprecedented insights into prostate health factors. The key finding that surprised the medical community, men reporting higher ejaculation frequency showed significantly reduced rates of prostate cancer development over the study period. Specific data from the research, men ejaculating 21 or more times monthly had approximately 31% lower prostate cancer risk compared to those ejaculating four to seven times monthly during their 20s. The relationship remained consistent when researchers controlled for other lifestyle factors like diet, exercise, family history, and overall health status. Subsequent international studies from Australia and Europe found similar protective associations, strengthening confidence in these findings. What's particularly important this association applied to ejaculation frequency regardless of whether it occurred through partnered sex, masturbation, or nocturnal emissions. The consistency across different studies and populations suggests this isn't a statistical fluke, but a genuine biological relationship. Researchers have developed several scientifically plausible explanations for why ejaculation frequency might affect prostate health. The prostate flushing hypothesis suggests regular ejaculation helps clear potentially harmful substances from prostatic ducts, similar to how regular fluid movement prevents stagnation in other body systems. Cellular turnover theory proposes that ejaculation stimulates healthy cell replacement cycles in prostate tissue. 
When cells divide regularly and efficiently, there may be fewer opportunities for problematic genetic changes to accumulate. Hormonal regulation mechanisms may also play a role. Regular ejaculation affects hormone levels including testosterone, prolactin, and growth factors that influence prostate tissue development. Anti-inflammatory effects represent another possible pathway. The stress reduction and hormonal changes associated with sexual activity may help maintain healthier inflammatory balance in prostate tissue. Immune system influences are also being investigated. Some research suggests that sexual activity affects immune function in ways that might help the body detect and eliminate abnormal cells more effectively. It's important to note these mechanisms are still being researched and the exact biological pathways remain under scientific investigation. What's clear from the research is the consistent association between frequency and reduced cancer risk across multiple large studies. While these findings are encouraging, they need to be understood within the broader context of prostate health. This research shows correlation, not necessarily direct causation. Men with higher ejaculation frequency might also have other health-promoting behaviors that contribute to reduced cancer risk. Ejaculation frequency appears to be one protective factor among many rather than a complete solution for prostate cancer prevention. The research doesn't establish an optimal frequency that all men should target. Instead, it indicates that frequencies within normal ranges appear to provide health benefits rather than harm. Individual variation is significant. What's healthy and comfortable varies considerably between men based on age, health status, relationship factors, and personal preferences. These findings specifically relate to prostate cancer risk and don't necessarily apply to other prostate conditions like benign enlargement or inflammation. Most importantly, this research supports the idea that normal sexual behaviors are compatible with good health rather than being harmful to prostate function. This leads us to consider how ejaculation frequency fits into comprehensive prostate wellness. Prostate health depends on multiple lifestyle factors working together. Nutritional factors play important roles. Diets rich in lycopene-containing foods, tomatoes, watermelon, omega-3 fatty acids, fish, walnuts, and green tea have shown protective associations in research studies. Physical activity provides multiple benefits. Regular exercise helps maintain healthy weight, reduces inflammation, and improves cardiovascular health, all factors that support prostate wellness. Body weight management is crucial. Obesity increases risk for more aggressive prostate cancers and can worsen urinary symptoms from prostate enlargement. Avoiding harmful substances matters. Smoking increases prostate cancer risk and can worsen urinary symptoms. Excessive alcohol consumption may also negatively impact prostate health. Stress management contributes to overall wellness. Chronic stress affects hormone levels and immune function throughout the body, including the prostate. Quality sleep supports healthy hormone production and cellular repair processes that are important for prostate tissue health. The key insight, ejaculation frequency appears to be one beneficial factor within a comprehensive approach to prostate wellness rather than a standalone prevention strategy. Regardless of lifestyle factors, appropriate medical care remains essential for prostate health. Current screening guidelines recommend that men discuss prostate cancer screening with healthcare providers starting around age 50 or earlier for those with risk factors like family history or African-American ethnicity. The PSA, prostate-specific antigen blood test, is the most common screening tool, though it requires careful interpretation by qualified medical professionals since elevated levels can have various causes. Digital rectal examination remains part of comprehensive prostate evaluation, allowing doctors to assess prostate size, texture, and detect potential abnormalities. Symptom monitoring is important. Changes in urination patterns, blood in urine or semen, pelvic pain, or sexual function changes warrant medical evaluation. 
Advanced screening options like multiparametric MRI and genetic testing are becoming available for men at higher risk or with concerning symptoms. The crucial point. Lifestyle factors like ejaculation frequency, while potentially beneficial, don't replace the need for appropriate medical screening and preventive care. Early detection of prostate problems, whether cancer or benign conditions, typically leads to more effective treatment outcomes. Let's address some persistent myths and concerns about ejaculation frequency. Frequent ejaculation depletes the body. Research doesn't support this concern. The body continuously produces sperm and seminal fluid, and regular ejaculation doesn't harm these processes. There's an ideal frequency everyone should aim for. Studies show benefits across a range of frequencies. What matters is staying within your personal comfort zone rather than meeting arbitrary targets. This research only applies to young men. While much data comes from men in their 20s to 40s, protective associations have been observed across different age groups. Masturbation is different from partnered sex. Research indicates similar health associations regardless of how ejaculation occurs, though partnered sex may provide additional relationship and stress reduction benefits. More must be better. Like most health behaviors, there's likely a range of beneficial frequencies rather than a more is always better relationship. This means I can ignore other health factors. Ejaculation frequency is just one factor among many that influence prostate health. Comprehensive wellness approaches remain important. Understanding these nuances helps men make informed decisions about their sexual health without unnecessary anxiety. What do these research findings mean for everyday health decisions? Normal sexual behavior is health compatible. Men don't need to worry that regular ejaculation, whether through partnered sex or masturbation, harms their prostate health. The research suggests the opposite. Individual comfort matters most. Rather than focusing on specific numbers, men should prioritize what feels natural and comfortable for their individual circumstances. Communication with partners is valuable. For men in relationships, discussing sexual frequency preferences with partners can help maintain satisfying intimate relationships. Overall lifestyle remains crucial. Ejaculation frequency should be considered alongside other prostate healthy behaviors like good nutrition, regular exercise, and weight management. Medical care shouldn't be delayed. Having a healthy sex life doesn't eliminate the need for appropriate medical screening and preventive care. Mental health considerations are important. Reducing anxiety about normal sexual behaviors may itself contribute to better overall health outcomes. The encouraging message, men can approach their sexual health with confidence rather than fear, knowing that research supports rather than contradicts normal sexual expression. Returning to our original question about daily ejaculation and prostate health. Four decades of research consistently shows that regular ejaculation, far from being harmful, appears to provide protective benefits for prostate health, particularly regarding cancer risk. The key message is reassuring. Normal sexual behaviors are compatible with good health and may actually contribute to long-term prostate wellness. This doesn't mean ejaculation frequency is a magic solution. It's one beneficial factor within a comprehensive approach to men's health that includes good nutrition, regular exercise, weight management, and appropriate medical care. For men concerned about prostate health, focus on overall healthy lifestyle choices, maintain regular medical care, and approach sexual wellness without unnecessary anxiety about normal behaviors. The research empowers men to make informed decisions about sexual health based on scientific evidence rather than myths or fear-based information. What matters most? Maintaining overall health, communicating openly with healthcare providers and partners, and understanding that sexual wellness is an important component of comprehensive men's health. Medical disclaimer, this information is educational and based on published research but it doesn't replace professional medical advice. For concerns about prostate health or sexual function, consult with qualified healthcare providers for personalized evaluation and guidance. The bottom line, 
Research supports the idea that healthy sexual expression, including regular ejaculation, can be part of a prostate-healthy lifestyle, rather than something to worry about or avoid.